So today I'm here exploring these radio transmitting towers used in World War II during Pearl Harbor, which is crazy. The area consists of three towers and they're all man-made. It's pretty unbelievable, cause check this out. The names is Radio Tower 1, 2, and 3. And they span at least 130 meters. Imagine climbing the ladder right there. It must take forever to get out. Espinosa 3! <laughs> oh! Dancer! <laughs> Sounds like a bomb just went off in the air. Bye bye! Oh. Bye bye! Oh. Bye bye! Hey. <laughs> Bye bye. No. Bye bye. Take care of my YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah. Mate. Triangle. Triangle. Oh, it used to be on the top? Oh. Got some old pictures here. All man made. By hand. Can you believe they just they just started out with like wood to build this gigantic antenna? Mm. Yeah, underground base. So this was the military base here that would command all the antennas for four for Pearl Harbor, the central station, and there's an underground base. Friend has told me that there used to be a secret base underneath this entire area. That I thought it's amazing how this is the headquarters, but there used to be a secret military base underneath the ground. And all these antennas, they form into a triangle. Illuminati confirm. Anyway, wow. This is why we don't trespass. Electric fence right here. So, got some presents. Yeah. You can see they form a triangle. One, two, three. And the secret base would be underneath this ground right here. It's a rainy day. We just made it to our next destination. Uh, a mini shrine over here. Not many people know about this spot. Oh, uh, Dr. Crab. <laughs> oh, <laughs> crap. He made a trap. <laughs> For missile. missiles. Uh, Torpedoes. Yeah. Torpedo factory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Repeat? Oh, yeah, yeah. Torpedo. Stock. Torpedo Stock start. Place. Yeah. Okay. Lay, 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 lay. Oh, okay. So we'll go through here. Start. Hush. Wow. wow. Really? Yeah. They would fire it from there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, check room. Check room. Check house. Uh huh. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Alright, so it's gonna be a check house down that path. Oh my god, can't wait to explore inside there. What's this? I've been noticing smoke and it's coming from here. Are we not alone? Let's go inside here now. I love how there's just one tree in the middle of this spot. With the leaves falling down.
like home for crabs. I'm seeing crabs everywhere. They're just running away. See, they're all down there. They're hiding from me. Oh, that's a big one. Oh. Let me play this really quick. This is exactly where I am right now. It's so cool that they use this place for an anime. By the way, I've seen this anime when I was in California and it's really, really good. I highly recommend people watching it. Pretty cool, I'm in the same area where they drew inspiration for the movie. All right, we always get that group picture, so we're gonna get one right now by this tree, which is very symbolic, very spiritual place that we're in right now. So yeah, group pic, make sure to check us out on Instagram. We'll have the picture uploaded there. Video. <laughs> now, I got, now I gotta stop it. <laughs> picture this time. <laughs> so right now we're trying to recreate some pictures from the boy and the bees. This is one right here. Then we're gonna do another one when we're fighting. <laughs> So cool. You gotta get the broom. Basically, I'm the apprentice, he's the beast. Makes sense, right? He's the best Japanese urban explorer. I'm just the apprentice here. So it looks like the boy has the mop on his right hand. Okay. <laughs> Good time. Another good room. Crap. Okay, that's when now three doing his thing. Yeah. Oh? Okay, okay. Okay. Simba. Jeez, I wonder what this could have been for. Probably something for like the torpedo production, you know? All right, Espinosa's taking me to the next spot. No! No! Stay. No! Stay. no. Stay. no. <laughs> small, small side, small side. Oh, yeah. crap. What was that noise? Got a little bit of an obstacle here. Oh, it's like its own secret cave right there. Wow. <laughs> that this was the checkpoint center. Um, so basically this site that we're in was used in World War II to test torpedoes. So the building that I just showed you right over here, let me show you guys. Pretty much the people in this building would look at the torpedo in the water and calculate its movement to see if it's correct or wrong. If the torpedo went straight, then that's perfect. But if it was zigzagging around, that was like a malfunction torpedo that they wouldn't use. Um, this place wasn't used to like battle or anything. So remember guys, just a testing facility for torpedoes and production for torpedoes. Look how this building looks right now and there's stairs on the side. Just imagine if this was a picture. 
which I'm gonna probably take. And I made it and my shoes are still kind of dry. Don't slip. Don't slip. Oh, oh shit. <sighs> All right. I want the perfect angle for this place. And I think this is it. Today because yeah. usually the water is like up to there. So <laughs> we're like the first ones to get on this spot right here. Which explains why there's so much like uh little clam shells right here. What the yeah. wow Filter? No, no. That's amazing, yeah. the way it looks. The spot, hands down, is like one of my favorite spots in the world right now. It's just absolutely peaceful. There's just a huge, vast amount of like water with like surrounded, like a huge crater almost. And I just love how this just stays here so randomly in the middle of nowhere. So yeah, I'm just taking everything in. It's just, I'm like meditating right now. It's just so nice here. Love that little bird just chilling right there. He knows the best spot too. It's right here. This is the spot. Oh yeah, this is the rail. Yeah. This is where they would send a Chinese? torpedo or missile and carry it over here and they would launch it right there for testing. Yeah. There. Uh huh. There. Crane. Oh, the crane would be right there. Crane there. Carry. Uh huh. Fire. Wow. Check. Yeah. Oh. Straight. Straight ahead. And that would be the checkpoint. They look at how it's just completely destroyed though. Everything's collapsed. It looks like this has been submerged underwater for a little bit sometimes. <laughs> no! <laughs> Screw that! <laughs> <laughs> Nothing beats a good day after exploring to hit up your like local restaurant. Banana and soup. Oh uh, yeah, this one. Okay. Yeah. Yes. We're getting our lemon steaks now. Bam. <laughs> wow, that looks really, really good. <laughs> I got the food. Guys, if only you guys can like smell this food that we're about to eat. It smells incredible. Mm. Oh my god. You got two. Akira <laughs> 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 I'm gonna end this vlog here. 
Hope you guys enjoyed this video. This exploration has been tremendous. It's been a good time. Be sure to check out our Instagrams. The link will be in the description down below. All right, we're gonna eat now. Okay, oh. lemon steak, the best. <laughs> this is the place, the name of the place. Go check it out if you're ever in Japan. All right, later guys.